Welcome guys, this is uh, David, Dave your host, and to be partners in crime too. We are currently here at the Dixon Gallery and Arts, uh, Dixon Gallery and Gardens. Um, today we are holding a, by the way this is part two, uh, remember to get that like, subscribe, helps you can produce content, improve and quality content over time. Um, Trying to make, oh, and this is uh, more from uh, the, uh, trying to think here, <laughs> can't even think right now. Um, this is more of the um, Travel Vlog Memphis COVID edition, so, yeah. And today, in the gallery, they are exhibiting two major exhibits, along with the normal exhibits here. The first exhibit we are looking at right now is calligraphy exhibit. So feel free to uh, pause at any time if you feel necessary to read something or whatnot. The other exhibit today is uh, the other special exhibit is the um do you like uh the art of um bible making you know, medieval bible making of sorts you know so See a thing because my glasses keep fogging. I hate when my glasses fog. Uh, all right well to avoid copyright issues in here we will be uh turning this off and making part three later peace guys there's that conversation between our current era and the past years i think very important but the bible for the 21st century has a contemporary message its aim is not to convert, but to be open and accessible to those of other faiths, and to show there is common ground between often divided peoples. So I used the menorah. This illumination bridges the Old and New Testaments. Based on the Jewish menorah, it is the family tree of Jesus going back to Abraham, father of Israel, and his son Ishmael, ancestor of the prophet Muhammad. It shows how Christians, Muslims, and Jews share a common ancestry. I also chose to pick out the name of Hagar, the mother of Ishmael, who is the ancestor of Muhammad. And I wrote her name in Arabic too, because so many people um, honor her as being an important part in their religious lives, a different religion. In the past, if a scribe writing the Quran in Arabic or the Torah in Hebrew would make a spelling mistake, the page would be condemned and destroyed. The Christian scribes had a way of dealing with their mistakes. Whole lines could be removed by scraping up a layer of vermin. Once scraped, cleaned, and burnished, the damage could be repaired and the skin would come on again.
the illuminator has a surprise ingredient which brings life and brilliance to the colors on the page. How do you use echo to mix with some of the colors? It's a technique that's been used for thousands of years. Two reasons. One, it binds the color together. And second, it imparts a beautiful luminosity to the uh, reds and warm colors to be used. And if you've ever tried washing any of them off the edge of the plate, you will know how soft it is. Now I've got to mix water with the egg so that I can get it to a consistency where it will flow with the egg. Very little needed to completely change the texture of this colour. Add a few drops, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then mix it up. You'll see the yellow start to turn. It's a good, nice, fresh egg. Gives you that little yellow tinge. Now, like a lot of the colours we use, they're extremely beautifully made. And in this case, that is. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Remember to give that like, subscribe, and continue to produce, and uh, continue to stay tuned for more content. We will make a part three here of the gallery. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get a little bit of this video here before we head on. So, peace, guys.